Hi everyone, this is Danielle and I work with the Nature Conservancy's Virginia Coast Reserve here on the eastern shore of Virginia. So today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about plants and how you can identify the difference between vascular and non-vascular plants. So vascular plants are the most common plants that we have. They have a tube inside of them that allows nutrients and water to move up and down the plant itself. So vascular plants have roots and stems and leaves, and they're typically larger in size. Some examples would be trees or flowering plants or grasses. But non-vascular plants are the complete opposite of all of those things. So they're typically smaller in size and grow a lot closer to the ground because they don't have roots or leaves or stems like vascular plants do. They take water and nutrients directly from the soil and it goes immediately into the cells inside of the plant. So it doesn't require a tube like vascular plants do. So some example of non-vascular plants could be mosses. So those things, vascular and non-vascular, seem pretty different, but they do have some similarities. They both belong to the plant kingdom. They both have cells within them that have cell walls, making them plants. And they both contain what's called chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is a green pigment found in the cells of plants, specifically in chloroplasts within the cells, and they are what give a plant their green color. And they also help a, the plant to get its food. And they are a pretty cool way of doing some painting. So today we are going to be painting with chlorophyll and figuring out how the chlorophyll in vascular versus non-vascular plants holds up in our paintings. So all that you need to do is go out and gather some leaves and hopefully some moss. If you don't have any moss, you can just play around with the chlorophyll painting of a regular vascular leaf. So I went out in my side yard and just grabbed some maple leaves because we have a nice maple tree out there. and. I uh, snagged some moss off the side of the road, which is all right. Um, and so you're going to have a piece of paper, just a plain white piece of paper, and you are going to draw a tree trunk. I'm going to move this down so you can see what I'm doing. So you're just going to draw a tree trunk. You can draw, you know, some branches if you want but it's totally up to you how fancy you get with your tree. There we go. Got some nice branches going on there. And so now you're just going to take your leaves and there's a lot of different ways that you can do it, but I think the easiest way is just to play around with them. So if you fold them up um, and kind of crush the chlorophyll that's in them, um, and smush it a little, if that makes sense. Um, you should be able just to rub it on your painting and have it come out green. So you see how it's coming out green? So you just rub it around and we're gonna create leaves on our tree using this nice leaf with the chlorophyll that's in it. I'm gonna take another one because I was running a little low on that one. So here is my final product with my chlorophyll painting. As you can see, it kind of looks like leaves on my tree from the chlorophyll from the leaf that I used. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing but with the moss this time and see the difference that the chlorophyll comes up. So now I'm using the moss that I gathered and rubbing it. Um, as you can see, the chlorophyll isn't coming out as much, but a lot of moisture is coming out, so the painting isn't as green. It's more brown, but there's some green that's starting to come out now. 
So here's my final product. This is my vascular with the leaf of the maple plant. And then this is what happened when I tried to use the moss. Um, some chlorophyll did come out, but definitely not as much as from the leaf. So you can do the same thing at home. You'll just need some leaves and some white paper and you can draw your own trunk or whatever you'd like. The color that will come out of the leaves is green, of course, because it is chlorophyll. Um, and you can draw whatever kind of picture you like and you can do different comparisons and figure out which leaves have the best chlorophyll in them and make the best chlorophyll paintings. So I hope you enjoy and enjoy your paintings at home.